What's up, guys? All here better. Pokemon here in Wi-Fi Battle. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of how I look like. Um, I'm doing a picture in picture for my 100 sub special. I'm going to do a third gen match against Map Chris and Cobra. Now, third gen was my favorite generation of Pokemon. Um, it, I started in Gold Silver Crystal, but third gen just has the most memories. I did the most things with it. I don't know. It was the most fa my most favorite generation. Has some of my favorite pokes. And I really love it. So when I when Crims did a tutorial video f for third gen battles, I was like, yes, I can actually, uh battle but like finally i've been able to battle with this and you know start to uh, record and stuff but yeah so i'm gonna have a third gen battle it's really long so i don't even know if you guys want to watch it. it's gonna be like 30 like 25 minutes but if you do then you know bring some popcorn you know i, I bring your friends along i don't know it's it's gonna be long but so um i guess actually uh thank you guys for getting me 200 subs like i know i'm actually at 150 right now which is even better but I just never thought I'd get this far because I was been uploading for a year right now and I haven't been getting the views and stuff like that so I was actually thinking about quitting but I really like this um, YouTube thing so I just kept doing it and it, you know it's starting f to finally pay off and I really like it so thank you guys you guys are awesome um, you know I wouldn't be here if it were if it weren't for you guys so thanks so much but I finally got a chance to do this PIP thing so yeah anyway I guess I should get get into the battle right now so let me start it right uh, now, okay, so, this is my third gym battle against Crims, um, oh, it's gonna be, like, right by my closet over here, yeah, okay, so, uh, so it's about a Yu-Yu battle against Map Chris and Cobra, um, he's a pretty famous YouTuber, you know, he likes to do third gen and stuff, so, yeah, now, she's in the lead off with Lavile Plumas, I lead off with Flare Alligator, but I'm gonna switch out, I do not want to take a Grass Move or a Sleep Powder whatsoever, now, I know Altaria is Natural Cure, so I can easily take a uh, Sleep Powder or a Giga Drain or whatever. No, actually Giga Drain is kind of crappy in 3rd gen. Uh, Giga, um, a HP Grass or a, uh, or what's his face? Or, um, I can't even remember, holy crap. Or Sleep Powder. So, I took that Sleep Powder, for, you know, I was took that Sleep Powder, now I can switch out for Magic Cure. But I was trying to, hopefully, luckily, get the first turn wake or something. So, I go for the Fire Blast, but you know, it doesn't work out in my favor. And now that I get Leech Seated, I really don't want to stay in here. So I'm going to switch into my, I believe, um, my Magmar. And I believe this is a turn he goes for the Sludge Bomb. And I got, like, really surprised. I'm like, why do you have Sludge Bomb over a, gra uh, over a Grass move? But I'm guessing that he has a uh, Sludge Bomb for, uh, to take on Grass types, basically. And maybe, uh, his other, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because Vile Plume can, is not that good against Grass types. And Sludge Bomb is going to make it really good. But, now I'm going to go for Fire Blast, there's no reason to predict since there's no team preview, I have no idea what's on his team, and he goes into Lantern, I did not want to see Lantern, Lantern sucks because it is so amazingly bulky, and I can't do anything to it, I have Hidden Power Grass on my Magmar, but it's really not going to do much since, uh, especially defensive, I really have nothing for it, so, I believe, uh, so right here I'm just thinking of, like, what the hell should I do against this Lantern, my whole team is weak to Volt Beam, uh, you know, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and I know he's going to go for the Surf too, so, I finally thought that, um, I finally came to the conclusion that I should go into my Meganium, and he actually Thunderbolted to predict, I don't even know my Altaria switch it maybe, but, um, I go for the, I go into my Meganium thinking I can take Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, and, uh, Surf, I mean, I know Ice Beam is super effective, but it's the best thing on my team that I have to take it, but he actually switches out, so this really tells me that he does not have Ice Beam, and I go for Reflect so I can take physical hits, which is awesome, because he goes into Vile Plume, and now Sludge Bomb won't be doing much. Because Sludge Bomb is physical in this generation, because physical special split was based on types. Like, special types were grass, fire, water, electric, that kind of thing. While physical types were like ground, fighting, ghost, which is really weird, but ghost was physical and dark was special. But yeah, so I'm going to switch out, I'm going to go into my Primeape, and I can easily take a Sleep Powder. I was checking if my Primeape had Vital Spear, which it always does, but you know, just in case. So, I go into my Primeape, I was taking a Sleep Powder, and now I believe, um, I'm thinking of what the hell he's gonna do. I'm fearing his, uh, I mean, I'm thinking what on his team can take a Cross Chop or whatever, so I finally decided to go for Earthquake, predicting a Lantern switch, and so he can maybe take in my, uh, take my moves, because, you know, a Lantern's really bulky. But he just goes into Gligar, and Gligar's really good, um, a lot of people underestimate it, basically. But it goes into Gligar. So I really can't do so I really can't do much with Prime Maybe I'm choice banned, so I'm actually locked in. Um choice banned is the only choice item in uh, third gen actually. But he's gonna go for the hidden power flying, because that's probably like the best flying move in the game. Like fly has the same base power as hidden power flying and you have to actually waste a turn. But uh <clears throat> 
He's gonna switch out. He's gonna go into his uh, vile plume as I do sub up, which is awesome because I was actually predicting a switch. I knew he wouldn't want to take a surf or an ice beam. I'm um, obviously he switched into his vile plume since uh he thought I was going for the surf. That's why I switched his vile, vile plume. But I'm just gonna go for the ice beam and I'm gonna do not much basically. I'm gonna do like uh fuck like a third basically. But he's gonna go for sludge bomb and it's not gonna take out my sub, which is awesome because uh, I had reflect up. I'm, I think it went down by now. I'm actually, I think I missed that. I don't remember. But um, I believe I'm gonna go for uh, the ice beam again, just trying to you know get diamond damage off of him because fucking yeah, it, it, I, I can take down this um vile plume no problem. Funny thing is, I called that freeze. I was like, this is gonna get a freeze, and he's like, hell no. But I got the freeze, but he got a first turn thaw, so it didn't really matter. Thing is, he takes out my sub with Sludge Bomb, but he knows that to take down my sub, he has to get go through two Sludge Bombs, so it's really pointless staying in, which is awesome. But right here, I believe he's gonna go into his hip on top as I'm gonna go for the sub. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm thinking here what to do, but I just wind up going for the sub to do because it's the safe play. So, he's gonna go into hip on top, and I'm like, fuck, uh, this thing could sort of could possibly destroy my team and then right here I believe I'm gonna find out that it's a bulk upset after I go for the surf I'm just going for the surf to get some damage on and see how that works out he goes for the bulk up and I'm like shit he could sweep me if he has mock punch and which he probably does and rock slide is really good coverage with fighting so that's probably what he has too um but I go for surf it does it's actually just like a quarter so I mean I could still stay under the sub and do massive damage but I know I really don't want to stay in here so um, I really don't know. I, I don't want to stay in here, but I see here that he kind of destroys my like my whole entire team with this hit on top. So for the lols, I'm gonna go for the focus punch. Now he's gonna get a brick break off, but I just want to see how much focus punch would do, and I just want to get it off because that's the point of the set. And here I get a really unfortunate and lucky critical hit. This crit mattered because he got oh wow shit. <laughs> This crit mattered because he w could have easily destroyed like half of my team with that um, hit on top and with the crit that negates the intimidate and I can easily take out the hit on top which really sucks. But he's gonna go into- so he was like raging at this point and I don't blame him because he kind of- the match would have been way shorter with that so. Now he's gonna go for the substitute with this Kangaskhan and I stayed in thinking that he would sub. I just had a feeling it was a sub punching set. I don't know, I just had a feeling because third gen, it's third gen and a lot of things have substitute, like a lot of things have substitute sets. So I go for the serve, I get my, well basically my assumption right, it was kind of lucky honestly. And then I'm gonna go for, I believe the ice beam here, I don't know why, I think I was predicting a switch, I don't even know, I think I just wanted to see how much ice beam would do and sort of hope for the freeze hacks, but hoping for freeze hacks is kind of, you know, gay honestly, it's kind of not the best thing to do. So Ice Beam doesn't do much, obviously, I should just get going for Surf, that was kind of a dumb play on my part. Return does a lot though, so I really don't want to take another one. So this is the turn that I switch out, I'm gonna go into my Meganium. Actually, no, I stay in. Why do I stay in? I don't know why I stayed in. But either way, I actually stay in. Yeah, I was thinking of whether it was a Meganium or not, I, but I just wanted to get more damage on this Kangaskhan. And I realized that after this return, I would get into Torrent range, I think that's why I stayed in. I would get into Torrent range, so Water Moves get powered up. So I go for Surf and almost take out the Kangaskhan. If I went for Surf the other turn and not Ice Beam, I definitely would have been able to take it out, which I should have. Wow, this chair is really sliding. Um, So now I'm going to switch out because I really want to keep my Feraligator for Gligar. And I was being stupid and oblivious because Gligar obviously outspeeds Feraligator, especially when my Feraligator is mixed and brave nature. So I really just should have foddered my Feraligator right then and there. But I'm going to switch out. I believe I'm gonna go into my beginning. I'm thinking I can take a return, but I was um here I was thinking what the hell can take a return, and I was contemplating whether I should sack my Feraligator, But I finally wind up going into my Meganium to take the return, and I know it's gonna do a decent amount of damage, but mine is Bold Nature, so it's gonna you know it's not gonna do that much. I mean it's gonna do a lot, but like it's yeah, it's it's okay damage. Um so yeah. But here, obviously, he's gonna go for another one, if anything, or he's gonna go for the sub. So I'm just gonna go for the reflect. I, yeah, I'm gonna go for the reflect. I was go thinking I'm going for a hidden power since he's going out for the sub. But I think reflect was the better and safer play since now return won't be doing nearly as much as it did before. So I'm gonna get some leftovers. Then I'm gonna freaking go for the hidden power. I'm going to, uh, you know, trying to break the sub. He goes to return. It does. You know, it doesn't do that much since I reflect up. If it would have gotten a crit, that would have been really bad for me. Like, that would have sucked so much. 
but that's not the case. Hidden Power actually does not take out the sub. But after left use, like, I'm gonna go for Hidden Power again, trying to see if it, at least I use a two hit KO on the sub, which I really think it should be, and I really think it is, I'm not positive. Uh, I think it's a two hit KO, well, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it takes out the sub. So, um, after lefties here, he is not going to get enough to set up another sub, and he knows that his returns aren't doing much. So here he's actually um, going to make the good play, and he's going to switch out. I believe I'm going to go for Hidden Power just to try to get some damage on it. And then he's going to go into Vile Plume, which sucks because Vile Plume is really annoying on this team, actually. I go for Hidden Power. It does not do anything um, since, you know, he quad resists my Hidden Power Grass. My jaw hurts. This is a really long battle. Sorry. <laughs> so... I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into my primate thinking he's gonna sleep powder again. So Actually, I don't remember what I go into. Um, I, I'm really thinking of Altaria or primate here Obviously since I don't want to take a sleep powder and actually I think I was predicting him to go for sludge bomb here Because I went into primate once so you know why not go into it twice and he actually goes for the leech seed So he was predicting me to go into primate. So thank God I went into Altaria so I can at least take a leech seed because Altaria is not as useful this battle like I do have a fire blast but it's not like it's gonna do much um so at this turn I am going to go for the fire blast and unfortunately I'm going to miss I never miss fire blast in fifth gen but in gen 3 yeah that's like 100% miss for me so that really sucks um and uh, so he's gonna go for the uh, it, it, actually I didn't see oh yeah he went for sleep power that's what he did did you go for sleep powder? I'm gonna be asleep. I'm gonna miss. I miss fire blast, which really sucks. Cause now this vile plume is missing crucial damage, and I really need to get rid of this thing, cause it's kind of walling my team. Sorry about that. Um, I think at that point I was like actually like typing in on the chat on Hamachi that uh he uh that miss on fire blast would have really helped me. I think he read. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. So here, I don't know what to do, and I finally decide that my Feraligator is useless on this team since Gligar does outspeed me, and it's the only reason I'm keeping it. So I'm going to go in Feraligator. I'm obviously going to die to a Sludge Bomb since there is no more Reflect. And uh, I'm going to go into my Primate or Pinsir. I don't remember, actually. Or Magmar, even. Yeah, I'm going to go to Magmar. That's what it was. I go into Magmar, and I believe I'm going to go for just for the straight Fire Blast. I wasn't really going to predict here since... Uh, if I over predict this Magmar could easily die so he's gonna he is going to go into Lantern again it's just um I don't want to take a risk like even Hidden Power Grass wouldn't do much damage anyway so I might as well try to get for the burn with Fire Blast but I missed this one too which really sucks because I keep getting missing Fire Blast like I said and it's I'm missing damage but you know it wouldn't matter too much thing is I really got to get rid of that fucking Lantern and my Banded Primeape as well as my Pinsir could definitely get rid of it. It's just I have to bring him in on the right moment, which actually this kind of was sort of a good moment too. But you know, it's better to play safe than sorry. Well, most of the time. So he has me surf. It doesn't do much. Whoa, this is weird. Okay, so <laughs> he has me surf. It doesn't do much. Um, so I'm just gonna go for it. I believe the leech seed. I actually missed what I went on there. Uh, I go for reflect again. There you go. Because reflect is, you know, it, it's reflect. There's really no need to explain it. And I need to raise my team's defense. This vile plume of sludge bomb it actually hurts my team decently with sludge bomb, so I can easily take hits with reflect. So I believe I'm going to switch out. I was thinking of going for synthesis, but I realized it's kind of pointless because it's going to go for sludge bomb and it's going to do damage anyway. So I'm going to go into primate, and I. And I believe he's gonna go for the sleep powder. Yeah, I was. Pre uh, wow. Okay, I was actually predicting the sleep powder on that turn. Um, since uh, he, he can't do anything to my game, so I'm predicting the sleep powder. I go. You know, I have vital spirit, and yeah, I'm sorry. That's kind of a really bad explanation. But I'm gonna go here for the rock slide because I know that's the move that hits everything on his team. I mean, Crash Trap does as well, but a lot of his team resisted. So I'm gonna go for the rock slide, and Banded Rock Slide does a lot to Gligar. I know that Gligar is probably a sweeper threat since he has HP flying, but it does, it really does do a lot, which is great because here I do get a flinch, and he would go for the HP flying, but I do have a reflect up, so it really would not have done anything. Well, not anything, but it would have done a quarter or maybe a third. It, either way, he would not have taken me out. So I'm gonna go for a rock slide. Sorry, just sliding chair is kind of fun and kind of yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for the rock slide, and he's gonna go into a soul rock, and this thing scared the living shit out of me. 
Because Soul Rock packs explosion, and I know that's the only thing that's going to be able to take care of my Meganium. Now, Meganium is kind of the thing that walls his entire team, so I had to think of something to sack fast, and I, I don't know, I was fearing the explosion. I had a feeling that maybe he had dual, dual screens, that was like my assumption, in which I do think he does, yeah, he goes for the Reflect. So I go into my Altario, it was kind of, it's kind of pointless pretty much. But I was really scared of the explosion, and I realized that Altaria was not important on this team whatsoever. So I go for Toxic, and fucking I uh, miss, which sucks. I mean, it doesn't make too much of a difference as I live Rock Slide anyway, but when I should turn on Toxic damage, like Toxic one turn earlier is better than Toxic one turn later, because, you know, damage is damage. But I'm going to go for Toxic again, I believe. I'm actually thinking of switching, but then I realized that there really is no point. I don't want to take an explosion. Um... So, I'm just gonna go into my- I'm uh, not gonna go into my Talia, I'm just gonna eventually go for the, uh, Toxic again. Um, I don't remember what I was thinking there, I, I actually, I really don't, sorry about that. But here we go, I go for the Toxic, and finally get that thing poisoned, which is awesome, cause now it, you know, it, it's like on a clock, but again, it can explode, so. I'm just trying to get damage on it, so maybe my Magmar can one-hit kill with HP Grass, or my can do a lot of damage with HP Grass. So, here I'm thinking either Magmar or Meganium, because Pin even though Pinsir is HP buggy as a reflect up, so it's it's pointless. Like he's gonna live no matter what. So um, I believe I'm gonna go into Meganium because I reflect. I am really defensive and I really just have no other choice. And I believe I do outspeed. So if I get a reflect up before he explodes, I can easily do. Um, I can easily live an explosion and then just go for the synthesis on the next turn. So, um. I believe, yeah, no, I believe, I really do, yeah, I go for the reflect, I know I go for the reflect here, and I don't remember, oh yeah, he's gonna switch out into his vile plume, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, he's gonna switch out into his vile plume, I'm gonna go for reflect again, this is a really long battle, I'm sorry guys, but it was a really good battle, I'm gonna go for the reflect again, just, you know, so I can take hits, that's the main point, and here I'm thinking, what the hell can I switch in, either primate or magmar, as I don't know, I have no idea. I believe I'm gonna end up going into Magmar thinking, you know, Super Effective Fire Blast is gonna do a lot of damage, and then maybe Lantern's gonna take hits too. So, I go into Magmar, and I'm- he goes for the Sludge Bomb, and it still does a lot. Like, Magmar's physical defense is really freaking pathetic. And then, his Reflector is off, which is awesome. The thing is, I'm gonna go for the Fire Blast here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Fire Blast here, I believe, and, um... It's fuck. Come on, go, go. There you go. I'm gonna go for the fire blast, and I still think his light screen is up, so his vile plume is gonna live this fire blast. I was shocked when it lived. I was like, why the fuck did you live that? And, but he goes for sludge bomb. Um, it does. It doesn't take me out. But I believe he has a light screen up. Like, let me see if he actually does. I can't really remember if he has light screen up. If if I didn't kill because oh, actually no, he didn't have light screen up. Yeah. So I was really surprised that fire blast didn't kill, but I guess magmar is really underwhelming. So. I'm gonna go for it in power, uh, and it's not, and I, cause I'm thinking Lantern just switch in. Like, the first turn when I went for Fire Blast on Vileplume, I went for it because he thought I was gonna, he was, uh, I, I, he thought I th would think he was switching to Lantern, but I've seen him do that twice, so the third time I know he is not going to switch, so I am going to go for a Fire Blast, and that was a really good play on my part. The thing is, the bad play was that I went for Hidden Power Grass later. He, um, he was actually surprised that I went for the Fire Blast because it really was not the smart thing to do, but I had to do it anyway. But I'm going to go for the Cross Chop, still predicting his Lantern to switch in because I hate that Lantern. And also predicting his uh, Soul Rock as well since Cross Chop hits everything on his team and his Bandit so is going to do a lot of damage. Now my effect wore off, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, he's going to get hit by Poison and I really do think I can hit Cro um, Cross Chop will kill at this point since I'm Bandit. And I believe he's going to leave the Slorak into die, so now he actually doesn't have to explode on my Meganium or, you know, on anything that can help me win the match, which is awesome. So, he's going to go into his Gligar right now, I believe. Uh, I'm actually not sure on this one. Um, sorry, because, you know, Link Standby and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, he's going to go into his Gligar. Thing is, Cross Shop is 100 base, it's the fighting move stone. It's 100 base power, 80 uh, accuracy, high crit ratio. I go for Rock Slide, I don't know why. But it's actually gonna do, it does the same exact damage with Stab, resisted as, as, as Rock Slide. So I do take it out. I was, I really was surprised when I took it out, but then I calculated and I was like, oh yeah, it's, but they're both 75 base power with Stab with Primeape. So actually, it does take it out. But now he's gonna go into Lantern. 
And I'm gonna go for cross jump again. I have no reason not to. It does a lot of damage. But I fucking missed. That was kind of crucial. Because I can easily... I could have easily 2 hit KO that lantern. And I probably would have destroyed his team. But I have no reason to not go for cross jump. I'm just gonna... You know, not sack my primate. But, uh, you know, I was gonna go down with killing two pokes. And destroying lantern as well. Which is awesome. So... He goes to Thunderbolt, takes out my Primeape. So all I have left is Pinsir and Meganium. Well, he has Vile Plume, Lantern, and I think his King is gone. So I still wasn't sure if I could ta uh, win this battle. But I go into Pinsir, and here I make my first mistake. I go for the Earthquake. I really should have Swords Dance, because I really do think I could have lived a Surf or a Thunderbolt or whatever. So I go for Earthquake, take it out. I really should have went for the uh, Swords Dance, but you know, that's my loss. So now... He's gonna go into Vile Plume, thinking that maybe he could take uh, Earthquake or Hidden Power Bug or something, because maybe he thinks I'm banded, but it, that would actually make it worse for him. Either way, he goes into um, Vile Plume, and I'm like, why'd you do that? It's gonna die anyway, but I realized that most of his team is gonna die to my hits anyway. But he's actually gonna switch out to get more lefties, since in third gen, the turn doesn't end until. Um, I can't really explain it, but basically the turn doesn't end when something dies. You have to bring something in, then the turn ends. Um, it's not like 4th gen or 5th gen. When you don't, when you switch back in, you don't get lefties recovery. Well, here you do. So he was just trying to get lefties as I kill his Kangaskhan. So all he has left is uh, Vile Plume. Now, here I make a crucial mistake. I wanted... Uh, I know he's going to go for Sleep Powder on my Pinsir. So I am going to go into Megadium today to Sleep Powder so he can't put my Pinsir to sleep. Now, he's gonna, um, so he can't put my to sleep. Uh, I can't talk. Holy crap. So, um, wow, that was weird. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch him back into my pincer. I'm like, I hopefully I can kill. I should have just went for the HP bug right away because x didn't exist back then and HP bug was like the best, uh, you know, fucking power thing. Uh, it was the best, like, bug power move. But uh, I go for the um, I should went for the HP bug in the first place because right here he gets a crit and that was crucial. Now it's kind of a uh, repaid from it, it, it's like a freaking re revenge crit against that hit on top in the beginning because this hit on top would definitely swept half my team. But hidden power bug almost takes it out from that much HP. I really just should have went for the HP bug in the beginning because that is gonna kill me with sludge bomb. And all I am gonna have left is my meganium and I really cannot do anything to this vile blue. So, I made two huge mistakes at the end of the battle. I just wanted to be safe, you know, get my Meganium to sleep. And I know Pinsir has high defense, so I could easily just take any hit, you know? But the thing is, it wasn't in my favor because I'm going to get Sludge Bomb, I'm going to get critted. And now, I really can't do anything. Like, I think here we, were here we were talking, he was like, yes, him on top was Avengers and stuff. But, basically, I should have just went for the HP buff from the beginning. Taking out the vile plume and that would have been my match, but unfortunately that's not the case. I was being kind of nervous. I don't even know why. I was just wasn't sure if the pincer would kill, even though it's extremely powerful. So that was my fault there. But he's gonna go for sludge bomb. You know, he's gonna do good. like there's really not much to say here because it's just me going for hidden power for no reason whatsoever because it does nothing. It really does nothing. And he's gonna go for keeps gonna keep going for sludge bomb trying to take me out. I need like a super mega. Super mega super crit with Meganium in order to basically win this battle, but I'm gonna fucking yeah I get poison actually which is funny, but I don't die, but eventually I'm going to die obviously this turn So that's a great game Macros and Cobra. It was a really fun battle. Thanks for like that was like my first uh, Fifth gen match. I was actually able to save the record not fifth gen third gen match I was able to save the record so thank you for that battle. It was a fantastic battle, Crims. And guys, thank you for subscribing to me. Sorry if you don't like my ugly face, but I just thought I'd do a PIP for fun. So guys, thanks for subscribing to me. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys stay here, you know, watch my videos. You guys keep me going. You guys are awesome. So, you know, thanks for watching this. And if you don't watch this, it's okay. It's a fucking 20, uh, like a 30 minute video. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoy. Rate, comment, subscribe. And, you know, I will see you all later.